serious trouble. Onin says there are strange forces at work. Fate has been twisted by something more powerful than anything she has ever seen in her many years. Something now awake deep in the catacombs. Let me guess. You blowhards want us to go down there, correct? The best access to the catacombs is on the metalhead side of the city. Sometimes, I really hate you guys. Onan says she sees your fate turning black with uncertainty. Onan says it will be very dangerous indeed. Onan says Hecker will escort you to the catacombs and... What? What did you say? You will be Onan's eyes and Jack's wisdom. You must do this. Ah, okay, fine. But I am gone the moment that things get sticky. You two, get to the catacomb entrance and take care of business. I'll meet you there when the coast is clear. He's hardly there at all, though. He just turns up right at the very end and goes, Ah, oh, well done very much, guys. Well done for being so crazy and stealthy. And then he just leaves us. Anyway, welcome back to Walkthrough, guys. Now I'm part 38, and it's time to head to the catacombs. Finally! You're just like, can we just gone there earlier? Why do they let us, like, you know, do all these crazy, silly missions where we could just, you know, go there now? Why can't the other underground members do all the crazy, silly, silly stuff? Leave me alone! Crazy. Void. I need a ship. Sorry. I, that was a man. Not a robot. Forgive me! I'm out of here. It's a bit like that scene in um, um, Harry Potter and Hello's Part 2 where Harry goes to the forest, sort of, you know, signing away his life. But here, Jack's going to the catacombs to be very madly and do many manly Jack things with Dark Eco. Things involving Eco and other stuff, yeah. There are a couple of side tasks for us to do before we go to the catacombs. Which I will do. They're in this new area. You can see a couple on the map already. Um, I think there's just two of them. And they're very simple. So, no worries there. In we go. Gloomy as ever. And, yep. There are metalheads around here that will start appearing. They're like, oh, food. Human flesh. They love it. Um, looking suitably eerie as well, this place. You can barely see it on my TV. My TV's so dark. Um, Okay, so the first one is over here, and it's very simple. Trust me. Actually, no, I'll do the other one first, what am I saying? If I show you, um, that one will lead us to the start of the catacombs level. So it's quite a good uh, way of doing it, do this one first. It'll make sense, in my mind anyway. Okay. I bet you can't reach this spot in time. This is so easy, it's unreal. It's, you can, I, this is right there, so you can spot it a mile off. It's just getting onto it, that's any problem, whenever. But other than that. Oh boy, that was Good fun. work. You're looking like the hero I remember. Oh, he's so sweet, isn't he? Where's my vehicle gone? Oh, well, I don't, I, 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 I don't really need it, to be honest with you. Now over to the other, other side. This guy and quickly all the metal heads come and get us. Here's another get to challenge. Time's counting. So it's at the end of that pole there, which might look a bit confusing at first, but actually it's very simple. Just step onto here. And then onto this one over here. Shoot. There we go. Good work. You're looking like the hero I remember. And that brings us to the catacombs. Epic music time, of course. Always for these important missions, epic music time is a necessity. The only hombres tough and crazy enough to take on these things are the Wastelanders. You're a genius. Yeah, that trinket's worth about as much as you'd get from a broke down pawn shop in Southtown. Oh, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, great. So we tried there, we tried our luck, and nothing happened. Right, see, so he's massive inverter. And then use any of the, um, you know, the blue ones or the yellow ones. Start blocking your targets. A massive assault here. Loads of metalheads everywhere. As you do, as is so often the case. Um, my TV's at a real good angle actually. That's to where I am. I'm just trying to figure out the best way of being able to look at the TV. But yeah, anyway, so this is basically be really depressing this bit because. All the area that you, like, you, like, you used to love exploring when you were in the um, Jack Jack 2 is just rubble. It's just like, great. 
lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Mustn't die here. There we go. You get, you get the uh, squad answer if you want to. There are plenty though you'll, you'll be able to earn, so don't worry about missing them and miss a few. And also eco as well. There are plenty of eco events along the way. So don't worry too much about getting every little bit of eco. But of course if you can get it, then do as well. Always you the more the merrier, as we say. Don't feel obliged to. I like to adjust things up, experiment a little bit. Ooh, this must be useful. One time it actually need help. Awkward. Okay, so there's Dark Echo event here, um, which we can use to get through the Dark Strike thing here. Other than that, I will say going, put yourself up, because there's some enemies over here. You'll be able to do the whole dark bomb thing and then instantly be able to go back and get yourself some more dark eco. That makes sense. That makes sense. Sense, surely, doesn't it? It does the whole, wow, I must stretch my arms, it's very musty and everything. Okay, I'm going to pause quickly now. I'm going to sort the lighting on my TV quickly. Well, I've sorted it to the best of my ability and it will have to do. <laughs> oh, he's, oh no, he's stuck. This is one of the places where he can get stuck. There we go. Press L2 and then try and jump and try to get out of there. So yeah, that's a bit awkward. One of the places you don't want to try and get into if you can. Um, oh, I can't say what the monsters. Why are they always here get on my nerves? Why are they my gears? I haven't even seen that one. These things are annoying as well. Destroy the vent. There we go. Well, you can't hit them either, just like I tried to then, because otherwise you die. Makes complete sense. Oh, and now, of course, we have um, one of those brilliant. Oh, give it health back. We have to use Light Jack Flight! This is how you do it properly. That's nothing as well, just one little spin. Good old fashioned, you know, hand to hand combat. You take care of them, just keep them spinning. Make sure they'll come towards you and they'll get in your way. Missed that one there. Okay. By showing the map then, basically we get a more detailed version of the ruins here. And there's a bit there you can just about see round to the right. You can either do the long way round, which is probably what I'm going to do now. In terms of getting to the, um, this event, a secret area belong beyond here. Um, you can either do this way round or the other way round. I do this way one because it's, um, I don't know, actually, probably harder actually. Let's get into here. It's a fair straightforward though. You can do it around the corner as well, but I always do it that way around the news. But it's always worked fine for me. So, there you go. There you have it. Should be a couple more down here. And loads of ammo as well, so happy for that. So there you go, that's that's pretty much all one here as well. Thank God I saw that, I could have been embarrassing. I us make sure actually there's no more down here then. Seems I missed that one quite easily. No, nothing in that bubble. Um, I don't think any more because wolves among the ruins. If there are, I don't know about them, and I'm sorry. So, forward all complaints to my inbox. <laughs> um, so, that was a bit precarious, but maybe just about. Happy days. Okay, so more evil guys down here. It looks like they're swimming through the air, doesn't it? Oh dear. Gotta love it. 
If it really is, I feel like it's, it's just common procedure for Jack now. It's just like, oh, it's easy business. We can get rid of all there because, of course, there is that eco vent there. Looking lovely and evil for us. Interesting combo, I know, lovely and evil. But it is possible. It is possible. Um, any more light? Don't need any light, though, do we? Okay, so. Is there anything else down here? I bet some menus will emerge in a minute. They'll be like, oh, I'm out too stark, Jeff, but. Yeah. Okay, so roughly about halfway through the ruins now. Or at least for the first ruin section, because I've shown the map again, and it's quite big. Huge area to explore, going all Indiana Jones on us. Um, yeah, there's still a little bit more to do. <laughs> Not that I'm unhappy about that one. It might be a two-part though, but that will be a very long one-parter to get it all done. If you want to be extra careful, you can use light jack to fly about. The ball could be in that. I'm going to try and go too close to the edge there, so I'll die. Come on, you silly beastie. Come towards me or not. Do your thing. I believe you can use light jack here to fly. Try a biscuit for a biscuit. Biscuit for a biscuit. Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure about that one though, so I won't miss that one. <laughs> da, 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 da. Like so. Just the way to do it. <laughs> Season pro this now. But there's not much variation moves, just keep making your way through and king the metal head along the way. It's a couple of you know, jet board bits, light eco bits that they vary it up a little bit. And the sunrise as well is quite nice. I like I love Jack Flight though, so I'm just gonna use it everywhere I go. I'm just crazy. One crazy man. Oh Miles used Dark Echo here, because it's a huge thing. By huge figure, I mean bent. I should at least know the terminology. Do you think, no, for something important like this, they'd have, like, you know, all of the underground, you know, people coming with Jack, or like the Freedom League would, like, send an army along to help me out? No, just Jack. Oh, this is Todd. I mean, Dax is here as well, but Dax is not that great. Anyway, no offense, Dax. Just imagine Dax saying, Oh, none taken, I know, I'm useless. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, no, just a couple of the skull gems, why not? Well, that's precarious. Not that word. It's proper literature word, that is. Okay, so yeah, you can, easily, you can probably jump across this quite safely, but I like using light jack flight, so. What the heck? Ooh. Shall I use that one? Because it's so amazing, why not? Destroys everything in sight. Literally, if you're on the screen, it will destroy it. It's brilliant. I love it. It's like a huge vaporizer. Don't get in the way of my vaporizer. How dare you? That's really quiet. <laughs> Got nothing else to destroy. Um, okay, on we go. I know what I do want to use this at all. Not too far to go now, I don't think. Oh. These first. I just one. Meh. Wish I had wings. Obviously, to be drinking loads and loads of Red Bull. <clears throat> ah, how dare you kill me! I am the master! I am the master commander. Come near me if you're brave enough. Stop jumping around! There we go. Okay, so hand-to-hand -hand combat can be good, but obviously guns work better. It says a lot, doesn't it? Right, we are literally nearly there now. I know, I know it's for a fact. I know these things. <laughs> Just a quick spin. Whoa, dear Christ, that did go to plan. Put me 
way so one better. Literally, I think. Let's try the map. Yeah, we're right there. It's quite an assault. It's a long one too. It's quite a hefty mission, but it's a good one. And you know, eventually you get there. So, maybe using Dark Eco. Brilliant. Okay, in the next part, I shall head on through the arch. See you then.